yeah. Yeah, 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 man. So today I was hoping to sort of just um talk with you, meet you, ask you like about your your vocal sort of history and journey, sure, bro, and have a have a sing together as well. Yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure, for sure. Sounds good. Sure thing. Great, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what do you like? Just ask me anything, man. Ask me. Go ahead. Yeah, I will. And uh, if you don't want to answer anything, you just let me know. Um, no, I'll, I'll answer the best I can. Ah, uh, great. Yeah, I'm always really interested in when I see someone like you, like a world world class voice. Like, oh, thank you, man. Thank I, you, thank you. I was just rewatching all the stuff that I've watched before of you yeah. over the weekend, and. I was just like, wow. And I said, I was showing my girlfriend and I showed my sister today. I showed my sister the Versace on the floor. Oh. And she's like, yeah. he made it better. <laughs> oh, really? oh, my God. <laughs> and she only, heard, she only heard you sing the first few lines before she said that. She listened up to the end of the first chorus. But because we were at work, I just go, this is the guy I'm chatting with. I'm going to do an interview with today. Oh, and she's cool. like, wow. Well, yeah, she freaked when out. When I did that song, though, I wanted it to, I didn't want to deviate so much from what Bruno did. Yeah. Because for me, what he did was like already... Really good, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, so in my mind, I was thinking, I want to do it similar to him, but when I do it live, I do my own thing. So ah, okay. it's different in the video and when I do it live. Yeah. Well, you did kind some really nice changes. Yeah. And obviously, yeah, like, nice. your, your tone is what I mean by world class. Like, when I hear your voice, I yeah. feel like there's, there's nothing that you can't sing. You know, like I can't you know, sing heavy metal though. <laughs> can't sing heavy metal. <laughs> I can't sing that. You know that. Uh, what do you call this? That uh, uh, that uh, that Death growling metal? music. That, uh, you know? that yeah, I got stuff. Yeah, <laughs> with the double bass with the drums. Yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, I can't. Well, I tried least... to do it in high school though, man. Huh? In high school, I tried to do that. Okay. You know, because I used to listen to corn. Um, Limb Biscuit, Deftones, that kind of music. That's uh, I think they call that new metal now. All right. Yeah, so I used to listen to that back in the day. I tried to do it and I failed, bro. <laughs> it's got I its own technique, say. It. Yeah, and it's yeah. it's insane how they do it because it's like they, these guys do concerts that way. And I'm like, if I do one song, I'm done. <laughs> done. That's it, bro. I'm like, that's it. No more Yeah. for a month. And they do it. You know, they do like whole shows with that with that technique, like hours of it. I'm like, how did they do it? Yeah. It's just amazing. Wow. Yeah. I did see a few shows that were like that. And I was yeah, yeah. I was just really impressed at the different how different it is to like other kinds of singing. It was really impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so like that's cool to hear that there's something that you find difficult in his vocals, you know. So it's cool. <laughs> yeah. But um yeah, yeah. what I, what I loved about your voice is the range. Of course, the range is Thank like, you. it just really stands out. And the, the t when I say range, I mean like the tone on your range, you know, like yeah. th there's like a, it's almost, it's almost like you could sing like rock songs or something as well. No, yeah, no, you, know, you know what, what I mean? The like funny a, thing is I used to sing, you know, cause I found out that I could sing really late. So I was like, I think 19 or 20. Yeah. I'm 37 now. And, but when I used to hang out in um, internet cafes and stuff, they used to play, I don't know if you know the game StarCraft. Uh, not, not properly, but yeah, anyway. Yeah, it's a computer game, right? Well, here in the Philippines, you got really big. So every teenager at the time was playing that game at every computer shop. So I used to play that like every afternoon after school, you know, and the guy who used to, um, I think owned the shop. I don't remember anymore. But the guy who was at the cashier of the shop used to play uh, Firehouse all the time. Firehouse, Def Leppard, all that stuff. And I used to sing along with it. Ah. I didn't even know I was doing it right or whatever. And I think a little bit of that rubbed off on my technique. Ah. That's what I think. That's what I think. Maybe that's that's what's going to happen. You know. That's when you were 19? Say what? That's when you were 19? I think uh, I was 17 back then or 18. Oh, yeah. So like in your late teens. I never, yeah, I never knew I could sing, bro. I never knew it. I never <laughs> knew. It. I, it, it, I, it came to me late. You know, I was like, yeah, like 19 or 20. And that's when I found out that I could sing. And I didn't even have any plans of having a career in singing. Yeah. Yeah. So, so like, yeah, that's weird. How did you know you could sing, though? Like, so you, you were singing along, but how did you know that you were good? 
Okay, here goes. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, because it's this is I get I get I get asked this question a lot. So this is a there's okay. a story to it. Okay, all right. I'm gonna tell you the story though. Yeah. <laughs> so when I was in college, okay, um, I think it was second or third year, and um, see, I wasn't that. Let's just say I wasn't a, I wasn't an excellent student. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I used to cut class. That's the. <laughs> I wasn't. You know, I, uh, I I used to hang out in the street a lot. When is college? Have, like, that's um what age is it right after has right after, ha- oh, high, after school high school so yeah, yeah. Like, well that's like 17 18 yeah something like that okay and um so i didn't um attend class regularly so my dad me and my dad you know he's a good guy man i love my dad my pops is the best he comes up to me one day and he says you know what son you're not really going to school to go to school you're just going there so i won't rip on you <laughs> I won't get mad. So I'm like, I just kept quiet. And he's like, you know what? Take a break. Take a break. Take a break from school. Do whatever. Just take a break, son. Because my dad is like a really, what do you call this? He's really open-minded. You know, he doesn't like to force stuff. So he, he, yeah, since I'm his son, he said like, take a break. So I was like, okay, cool. But when I'm a, when the year I took a break, I didn't know what I wanted to do with myself. You know, so I was like hanging out at bars hanging out at pool halls, you know, billiard halls. Yeah, like uh, playing pool. Yeah, 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 pool, exactly. Yep. That's like, that's like that was a big thing back in the day. So yep. all the, all kinds of, I don't know how to say this, unsavory characters used to hang out in these bars. Yeah. So, you know, and one time, so what I did for a little bit of cash was I used to set the tables. You know, you have to place the balls in an order so they can break it and then break okay. All that stuff. So one time I was setting the table and um, I was singing Incomplete by Cisco. Oh, yeah. It was That was year 2000, 2000 or 2001. I don't remember though. They, um, they were playing on the radio and I was singing along. Even though it seems, I don't know the key though. I might be off key. Doesn't Sing matter. I have everything. Yeah, something like that. Make up your own. And, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then the guy I was setting the table for, um, his name is, we used to call him Frit. <laughs> but he was, he was a bald guy. He had um, tattoos on his arm. He was a drummer for a band. But I didn't know it back then. And he's, he, he's playing, right? And then he looks at me. He just looks at me. And I'm like, what's up? And he's like, bro, you, you know you can sing, right? I'm like, no, man, I can't sing. I'm not, I'm not really. And then he's like, no, bro, you should like try being a band and stuff. You know, I'm like, oh, I didn't even know bands could do R and B. You know what I mean? Ah. I didn't know that because I had no idea about music, nothing whatsoever. And then eventually, if I remember right, because this is like 20 years ago, or 18 years ago, 19 years ago. Yeah. Um, if I remember right, he had a band. It was named Raging Earth, I think. It's a rock band, but they did some pop songs they used to cover some pop songs some that was the time when rmd was like really getting famous here in the philippines really yeah. getting really getting up so um they used to play that song so one time they asked me to sing for him sing it with him and dude i had zero experience singing with a mic live i didn't i didn't know how to memorize songs you know because i suck at memorizing songs until now dude <laughs> It takes me a while to memorize a song. Like memorizing so, the lyrics? Yeah, yeah, memorizing the lyrics. But what, the about lyrics, the, the what about how it goes? The melody and stuff? You're fine I had a with better that? sense for that. Okay, I had yeah. a better sense for that, yeah. And then, so what I did was, I think they let me sing West Side by TQ. You know that song? I was just a young boy living in a house in this side. Yeah, that one. Yeah. And then I had my, so back in the day, there weren't any iPads or any iPhones, right? So I had to write that shit down on a, on paper <laughs> and I was on stage and it was like um fiesta I don't know how they call that it's like a it's like a big celebration for a province okay so I sang in front of like 500 people or something that's that's your introduction <laughs> yeah and my and when I did that I was reading my lyrics and whatever and in the middle of the song I ran off the stage and I was crying because I had no idea what I was doing <laughs> you just yeah. freaked out I freaked out, man. I broke down. I had a meltdown, bro. That's what happened. Whoa. So, yeah. 
But my friends had back then, they said, don't be discouraged. Each, all the singers we know went through something, something similar to that. You know, you never know you're ready until you try it. So now we know that you're not ready yet. So you got to practice. So at that time, I didn't want to sing. I didn't want to be a singer. I just, you know, I just wanted to do something with my life because I didn't want to be like a bum or whatever. And then when that happened, that changed something in me. I was like, this is not going to beat me. I'm not going to let this beat me. You know what I mean? Oh, this is shit. never going to happen to me again. This is never going to happen to me again. I'm never going to back down from something like that again. So that's how it started. Wow. That's how we started singing. So you had to fall. Say what? Say what? You had to fall hard before you could grow. Yeah, bro. Yeah, in wow. front of like a whole lot of people. It's a good thing they didn't laugh, but they were just staring at me. <laughs> but inside, dude, I was I was broken, man. <laughs> So, yeah, so what, yeah. what did you feel like? Yeah. Why did you run off? Did you feel like, oh, this is embarrassing or something? Or or I'm not singing properly? Or people are look at, looking at me and it's uncomfortable? What did you feel? Actually, the thing was, um, it was all of it at once. So mm. I was like, I don't know if I'm singing the right, the right notes. I don't know if I'm singing the right notes for this verse. I, don't, I didn't know anything. Yeah, I didn't know how, because when you sing, there's a flow to it, right? There's a rhythm to it. You get into it and then... From there it starts. I didn't know how it started when it ended. What I was, I didn't know nothing. Oh, <laughs> so you, you Ew. like, weren't, you didn't feel prepared for the yeah, for the content exactly. like that you had to. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And then from there, I, I practiced for a year, bro. Like every time I was in the bathroom taking a dump. Those echoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sang, 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 sang. My dad was like, "What are you doing? Why well, you keep on singing?" And then he was laughing. And, <laughs> No, but yeah, he didn't stop me. Taking a dog, dad? <laughs> yeah, just keep, he's like, you know, son, keep on doing it, you know? So I was just oh, singing good. while I shower, everywhere, yeah. And then it got better and better and better. And what I did um, was to get, to train myself was, because there are a lot of famous bands back in the day yeah. here who had great singers too. I used to watch them. And then I used to ask them if I could, um, you know, sing on the, with them on stage, just one or two songs, you know? And they would allow me. And then I learned from that. Ah. And it got better and better and better. So yes. why did you ask them to sing on stage with them? What was the what was the drive to do that? Uh yeah, because I, I I didn't want to feel that anymore. Because that know, takes like that, that takes balls to go up to people yeah. and it's the you know, yeah, you're that, at their show and you're like Yeah, yeah, actually. And they they look they would look at me like, who, who the hell this dude? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. <laughs> what did you want? <laughs> And I used to dress like real, I don't know, right, real hip hop back in the day. Yeah, gangster. You know, like real, yeah, real gangster, you know. <laughs> and they were like, what, what's this fool doing? What is he? <laughs> he doesn't look like he can sing. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, I just did it and did it and did it. Man, I, I went through a lot, man, you know. I went through a lot to get where I am. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, looking back now, I remember the feeling when I first sang. It's, <laughs> it was really bad. So, <laughs> it was when... Really bad, man. When did how did you feel when you got up and sang on stage with the bands that were good that you were watching? Oh yeah, it was intimidating, for sure. And um, when I was singing, I didn't really feel anything. But after I sang, I would ask them, "What do you think I can do more? Ah. What do you think I can improve on? What do you think I did wrong?" And they would tell me. And since I jammed with different bands, not just one, I got different opinions. So that's how we got a lot of, you know, more information that's on how so to grow. Good, man. So yeah, what? Yeah. Go. Yeah. So, no, 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 no. That's cool. Yeah. So that's what cool. gave you that idea to, to um, one? You you yeah. said you wanted to conquer it. Why did you want to conquer it? And two, I, why did you yeah. ask people, like what they thought of you? Yeah. Well, first answer your first question. I didn't want to feel that way again. Mm. So I didn't really have a goal because I didn't want to be a singer yet. I didn't yeah. know. It just was like a, a an ego thing, you know? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, I'm never going to feel this again, man, never. Yeah. So the next time somebody gets me on stage, I'm never going to look like that again. And then before I knew it, I fell in love with singing because I never identified as a singer back during those days. I was yeah. like, just a dude who could sing. And then I think there was this, I don't remember for sure, though. There was this one time that one of the singers in a band got sick and then one of their band members called me up to take his place, you know? And then I got uh, paid for it. Yeah. You know, I got paid for it. Not that much though. 
little bit of money. And I'm like, hey, wait a minute. I could actually make a living from this. <laughs> you know, I could make a living from this. So that's what that I think, looking back now, that was a turning point where I said that, you know, I'm gonna I am I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be a singer. You know, I could I could support myself from this. Cause I never I was never good in school. I you could never put me in an office, you could never put me in a classroom. So I was like, I got I gotta do something with my life. And you know, I don't know. Sorry, you froze a little bit. Yeah, you you're back. Save me for sure, man. Oh, sorry, you froze yeah, a little bit. You yeah, said you said I don't know, and then the connection froze. What did you say after that? Yeah, that's the internet in the Philippines. It's funny. <laughs> no, it's okay. It happens occasionally. Yeah, what? you were saying you said. So what was it? Yeah, the what last thing I heard you say was you said, "I don't know," or "It saved you," or something. Or. Oh yeah, yeah. It sounds cliche, but music saved me. Yeah. You know, it fixed it fixed my stuff, man. It fixed me up. Fixed me up good. Wow, what Taught a great a story. Thanks, man. <laughs> That's really inspiring yeah, yeah. to hear. Seriously, like I get it. Like, it feels really nice to hear you say it. The, the support from your father, you know, uh, uh, like that's a difficult yeah. stage when you're not sure about your schooling life and your career. And then and then also yeah. then the next step, his openness with that. And then the next step, the, p the person that heard the drummer that heard you. Like, I love these little things that make you who you are. You know, like he made you think about it. Hold on, can I, I am I a good singer, you know? And then the yeah, thing yeah, on the yeah, stage, exactly. like the fact that you got on the stage shows me that maybe you're, you know, you're that kind of guy that wants to like conquer or something, you know, like you don't yeah, want to. Yeah, that's my personality, dude. Yeah, because exactly. I, I can feel it. Like, why would you go back and put yourself in that position again and go ask people, can I get on stage? And why would you ask them, you know, how did I sound? What can I do better? Like that, those kind of things are really like they take a certain um, mindset. You have to like let go of all your fears to do that kind exactly because i've experienced that in a couple of times in my life and i know like there's other people that they never go through that they never ask anyone like how was the i struggle <laughs> you know they, they might never yeah. ask someone that or you know they might never step up on a stage to do singing or public speaking or whatever it might be you know it's just yeah, yeah i remember shaking like the first time i got up on stage yeah, my, my knees were shaking like that <laughs> you too yeah hello <laughs> yeah, I oh, must be delayed. I think you got me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. So awesome. All right, thanks for that story. You actually yeah, covered yeah, a lot of my. The internet my, is unstable. Yeah, it's a little bit. It went unstable for a bit. Is it better now? Yeah, yeah it's better now. It's better now. Yeah. It's the Philippine internet, man. Okay, it's cl it's yeah, being, it's, it's being clear on my side for the last. It two happens, minutes. bro. <laughs> yeah, just let me know. It just be yeah, like. I'm just listening. Yeah, I'm just listening, man. Okay. I, heard, I heard your story though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, dude. I mean, like when you shake, when you when you're afraid, I don't like that feeling, you know. Mm. So when I get that feeling, I find a way to defeat it because I hate that feeling. I hate being afraid. I hate being unprepared for stuff. Mm. So that's what really pushed me to, you know, to do it. Yeah, that's, that's mad. It. Yeah, and mad. you know, the funny thing is here in the Philippines, bro. Like, I don't know how many percent, but a lot of people here are good singers, man. Yeah. Am I frozen? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, you froze a bit. <laughs> the internet here, bro. Yeah. The internet here, I'm telling I you. I heard you, yeah. I just said, yeah. 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 So a lot of singers here are really good. Mm. Are really, really good. So I had to like catch up. So I was like, oh, this guy's really good. And you could you could get like a dude off the street here and ask him to sing karaoke and he would kill it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. He would do it like that. So that's the, that, that was the pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so do you feel like that pressure pushed you to get better? Oh, yeah, of course. For sure. Yeah. It so did. In what, and what what kind of yeah. advice did they give you when you asked the band members yeah, for first advice? First of all, they never taught me technically, like with a piano or with notes. Never. Yeah. It was mostly technique. So they were like, sing it this way. Sing it that way, and I would just imitate him. What's an example? Or the, like sing what? There was this one guy who used to sing really well. Uh, he used to sing Mac Brian McKnight songs really well. Yep. His name is Dexter. Uh, Dexter, I forgot his name. <laughs> oh my God. 
He's a good friend of mine. I forgot his family name, but it's Dexter. <laughs> he was, yeah, he had this really big manly voice, and he could sing like Brian McKnight stuff like really well. Yep. And um, when he used to sing uh, Brian McKnight and stuff, I used to listen to him, and I was I used to ask him, "How do you do this? How do you do that?" Well, this is what I do. When you sing this part, imagine that the guy you're singing to is like three blocks away, or two houses away. He's got to be able to hear you. You know what I mean? So it's not really technical. It just makes you think of how you're gonna execute it, and then you finally yeah. learn how to do it. This is exactly what I'm so looking that's how, for. That, that's some of the yeah. things. That's one of the things I learned. This is exactly what I'm what I'm looking for. Yeah, like um, yeah. You know it, I know, I know, because you know that I'm a teacher. I don't want you to have like a preconception of what I think singing is. You know what I mean? I just want like I just really want your like your straight story so that's cool oh, yeah yeah because yeah. I actually myself um my channel is is focused it's a slightly different I don't teach like as much with the um what what's the word uh like the common methods because oh yeah I, I sort of created my own method from watching my siblings who are very naturally talented I watched them oh, cool. I watched them learn because I wasn't talented so I watched them and how they learn as they grew up, like from their, when they were 10 to 20 years old. So I yeah. kind of created my system via a little bit of theory work and also by watching them. So, But dude, you're really technical, man. Now I am. So Yeah, very th technical, bro. Thank you, man. But, um, very, very technical. Yeah, man. so like, like you would like, call that technical, but if you see other teachers... Surgical, dude. <laughs> huh? You're like surgical, dude. Surgical. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, the way you you know, the way you break stuff down. <laughs> when you broke me down in one of these videos, I was like, oh, so that's what I do here. Because sometimes when I do runs, I don't even know that I do that run. I don't even know it because I'm not even thinking about it, right? Yeah. And then you're like, this is what Johan did here, and then you slow it down. Like, oh yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> I didn't even know that I did that. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a big help, man. That's a big help. That, that it's encouraging and it's informative too. Wow, yeah, that's the mark of a genius that you're like, I didn't even know I did that. I just did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it, I know, now I know what you mean by technical. So I guess you're saying that I'm able to describe yeah. note for note what's happening and give it a label, something like that. Yeah, see, when, when I thought, when you said technical, I was thinking yeah, yeah, yeah. that you're thinking like um, there's different teachers, they teach with different methods that I don't, that I don't use that much. And um like a different vocabulary and more yeah. vocal science and that kind of stuff. And I don't actually use that. So that's what I thought you meant by technical. But now I know what you mean. Yeah. Thanks for describing that. Oh, and no, no. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, oh, cool, cool. that's so cool that you said oh, that. Um, yeah, yeah. So the reason I developed that was from watching people like you, um, like singers with your level of quality, like Wanye, Brian, and I would listen to them and break them down. And it took a few years because I didn't really have a teacher to, to show it to me because I couldn't find the teacher that knew that stuff. All the teachers were teaching like um, classical music or Broadway oh. music. It was, you know, there wasn't any teachers that was like straight R&B. There was one teacher, but she didn't really spend much time doing songs. So um, that's why, yeah, I ended up very slowly. I think like, you're doing really well, bro. Thank you, man. So, um, yeah, so I wanted to ask you, like, um, really? when they s said to you, sing this this way, what's a kind of line that they helped you to sing? Like, I'm trying, okay. to, get, I'm trying to get to what was it that you were not, a, not like, as good at at that point that they helped you with? Well, um, you see, I already had a high voice to start with. Yeah. You know, my, my, I had a high voice. But they, I wanted to improve the quality of how it came out. So, for example, how's the bridge of back at one again? Um, uh, say what farewell to the dark night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to key? sing it. Oh. I don't know if I. I don't know. I don't remember if I know how I used to sing it. But uh, when we get I used to sing it something like this. Um, yeah. Is it that? Is that the right key? Let me get the key. Yeah. Oh, let me get, oh, yeah, the, yeah. We'll, we'll get, get the right key. <laughs> we don't want to be off. <laughs> That's like the rule. You, I'm you, just gonna close the door a bit because it's getting yeah, hot. Go I'm gonna it. get back. Yep. One second. One second. Yep. Up there. Okay. That's right. To the dark night, I see they're coming. 
feel the sun. I feel like a little child whose life has just begun. You came and beat new life into this broken heart of mine. Something like that, right? Shit, right. Ooh, the life of life, just in the nick of time. Ah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. I didn't have it down that well, but... Gold. You know, but I didn't used to do it like that. Yep. I, I would sing it with my with my throat. Yep. So I used chest, a lot of chest there, a little bit of diaphragm. Mm-hmm. But I used to sing it with a lot of throat. So I'd be like, say farewell to the diaphragm. Like, okay. It would sound weird. Yeah. You know, so they picked... So from these guys who sang it properly, I learned how to do it right. So what did you do with your voice to change it? I just, uh, you know what? I just did it and did it and did it. And so, you know, so you went by the sound. Man. Yeah, repetition. And yeah. then, because I have, a, I have, the, I, have I, I already had this talent from since I was a kid that I could imitate voices. You know? Ah, okay. So I could do like impressions of stuff. So I think that helped a bit. You know, because, you know, I could do an impression of like um, Michael Jackson or Chris Tucker or something like that. Yeah. You know, I can do an impression Jeremy. of him. So <laughs> you, you yeah. would ask that. Chris Tucker. Go, Chris Tucker. What's Chris Tucker oh, do? Oh, my God. Oh, does Chris Tucker sound again? Rush Hour? Yeah. Jamal Lee. Jamal Lee sounds like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Kafir Kafish. You know, it sounds like that. He sounds like that. Yeah, I could, I could imitate. You. Say what? Say what? Shishinu. I'll slap you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember yeah. that scene? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, And, you know, I grew up because my dad used to listen to a lot of Michael Jackson. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, sorry, Michael Jackson. there's a truck in the back. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, that's cool. If you hear it, yeah, yeah. I can't even hear it. I can't okay, hear it. I'm so they're going to hear it on my side of it. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, my, my dad used to listen to a lot of Michael Jackson when I was a kid. A little bit of Stevie Wonder, a lot of Nat King Cole, Whitney Houston, man. I grew up with Whitney Houston. Okay. All for one, all that stuff. So I was lucky because my dad had the, I don't know if he did it on purpose. My parents had good taste, man. So that rubbed off on me. He got the musical so, education. Uh, yeah, without even doing it and having it intentionally given to me, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what happened. So I think when you went and watched the people in the bands and you got to see these live people killing it, Cause it's like different hearing yeah. it on a CD and then seeing it live, and you saw them live, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you asked for their feedback, and then all these yeah. things made you like get even better than you naturally were. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, the sound is just a bit distracting. For me. It's okay. Yeah. Wow. Dude, that... I got. I had like three tricycles pass by my window just now. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice. There you go. I'm good, man. Yeah. I'm good, Shit, yeah. bro, you killed that when you sang that back at one. That was so mad. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know it was right. You know. Oh, it was perfect. Your, the, the vibrato, and just when you're going into the, like a, into this broken heart, like just like that. I love it. Killed oh, it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so that's what I wanted to talk to you about a bit. Um, now, you said when I break things down that you didn't know you're doing those runs, like when I broke them down. So yeah, when those you. Little, those little runs. I didn't know if I, I did them like at the end of. Which ones do you When mean? I did a run. I don't remember which ones in particular, but like when you get oh, like that. No, I I do like a little one, right after I do a run, like maybe two or three notes, and oh, then yeah. you pointed out. I was like, oh, I didn't even do that intentionally. Ah, also, okay. that's what I do there. Oh, I was doing a vibrato here, not here. Oh, now now I understand. You know what I mean? So yeah, that that opened me up a bit. So now I'm more aware. Nice. Yeah. So you chopped it up. You know, you chopped it up. Chopped it up. Chopped it up. I chunked it. That's all. That's what they call it when you're teaching. They call it chunking. So you chunk everything oh, into yeah. tiny sections so that it's so that you're able to learn it. Because when you look at it as a whole, it's too much information. Exactly. Yeah, for a beginner, yeah. for someone like you, no, even, you, you know, need a even bigger for chunk. Like me, dude. Even for someone like me, because you know, one of the guys who taught me technically is this guy. This guy. I don't yeah. Know if you can see him. Yeah, I can see. I can Not heaps clear. Yeah, that's his name is Pablo Banyaga. He's um, he's one of the lead singers of my former band K Twenty Four Seven. Man, that dude is like you. He's super technical and he teaches the way you do. Even before the amazing slow downer, he would like slow runs down. Yeah. And he would teach me from there. And th- there's still stuff he does that I can't do. I'm like, how do you do that? I'm like, oh. how? How did he yeah, slow he, things he, down? I don't know. Is he he's something his in ear. his head? 
No, it's something in his, his, I know it's like, it's like his gift maybe. Okay, so he didn't he need, to, he didn't need to like, you know how I use the AS, AS Amazing Slowdown, huh? like it's like software. Yeah, he, he does do now. He does do now, but before, even before that, he could do it already. He could hear it and do it. Okay, yeah. yeah. Like, what song was this again? I can't even do it until now, like the Separated, Usher. Yeah. The last part. I don't know that song. Uh, yeah, do you, know, do you know it or should I bring it up? Uh, I can't do it, so. Uh, this is the last part. This is good. Let's bring it up. I'll share the sound of my screen with you so yeah, we can hear it. the last part. Is it like right at the end? Yeah, like like the last one. Why can't I share my sound? Hold on. God damn it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay. Separated. Just the last part. Uh, actually, I might, I might just bring it up on my phone. <clears throat> Is it a run or something? Or? Yeah, it's a run. And I, I couldn't understand it, and a lot of singers can't understand it. And he just broke it down, and he does it all the time. Like, it's nothing. Ah, that's just crazy. Yeah, He's so fast. Like, yeah, we could be, like, eating lunch, and then I'd be like, Paolo, do that run from separate. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you just do it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, that one. How oh, funny, I came right to it. <laughs> it's so difficult. The last part, this one. I don't even know if I'm doing it. Wow, yeah, that's hard. That's really that's hard. That's hard one, right? Yeah, because it's, like, it's on a chord change too, yeah. Like yeah, a, on a bluesy and stuff. Crazy. So this is what I was going to ask you. Early, um, I was yeah. on my list to ask you, is there anything you can't do? So something like this was, was a pa Paolo? Yeah, yeah. Was Paolo able to teach you how he would do this? Yeah, he taught me, but since I don't know what really happened, but I was never technically good at copying note for note runs okay. of other people. Oh, that okay. was because can, I can do all this crazy stuff, right? I can't do that well. You know mm, what I mean? So okay. what I did was I made peace with that. So I'm like, okay, you can't do exactly what Brian McKnight did here. You can't do exactly what Usher did here or what Stevie did here or what Wanya did here. Why don't you try to do something of your own that doesn't sound so bad? So that's how I ended up doing my own runs and stuff. Mm. But from time to time, I still practice those things because <clears throat> just for me personally, I want to do it. You know, it's like a yeah. challenge. <laughs> you wanna... I just want to do it. Yeah. So even if I don't do it live or when I sing live, I don't do it there. When I'm When I'm home, I'm like, I watch these singers on YouTube and this guy does a run. I'm like, wow, wow, dude, I want to do that. Yeah. And then before I run, I'm like four hours doing a run. And my wife is like, why do you keep on singing the same, <laughs> the same song for the last four hours now? Yeah, you keep on doing the same. You know, you get obsessed with it. But yeah, but when I sing live or on uh, on my own music or doing covers, I I made it a, a point for myself to do my own thing. Because yeah. I'm not that good at copying, you know, copying yeah. other people's runs and stuff. I'm and not that good at that. Your your runs are so complex that <laughs> it's it's better that you do it that way, because really? <laughs> I, I'm surprised that your runs are that complex and that you can't copy the artists. I, I want to hear what when you say you can't copy. I actually want to hear to prove that you can't copy because I think you I think you probably can. <laughs> but you're yeah, but maybe maybe there's like one note out or something that you're like and you're like I can't copy it. Oh. Is that what you mean? I don't know. Like, for example, you know the all for one run, and I swear. Oh yeah, which one? Do you know oh, that one? The one part? right at the end. Oh, 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 I swear. Yeah, I don't do it like that. What do you do? How do I do it when I do that? Oh, 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 how i do i i don't because i can't even do it exactly yeah yeah so that's how i do mine that's mad though I yeah do a lot of my songs like that. <laughs> but i love what you just did that was a great example like you modified it but it still sounded as complex you know what i mean yeah thanks man yeah, I, yeah. I felt that's what I, that's what i go for <laughs> yeah that's what i try to sound like you know I mean, so it won't sound fake you know but yeah. you know it sounds mad. i try i try i what, try man what about the i'll make love to you run 
You know that I'll make love to you on? The bridge. Yeah, the bridge. The bridge. You know that I one, right? Because I'm pretty sure I heard you do it when you sang with the Voices of Five. No, I did uh, the Babyface version. Oh, I haven't seen that one. I, yeah. Well, how does it go? Oh, when he changes key, uh, yeah. What's the bridge again? If I make love to you. Tonight is your night. Is your night, and I will do you right. How do I do it? Just make a wish on your night. Anything that you ask, I will give you the love of your life, your life, your life. That's what I do. Oh, but I so... think <laughs> you do yeah. it so easily. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> But I think the real one is like, oh, your night is your night, and I will do you right. Just make a wish on your night. Anything that you ask, I will give you love. Your night. Yeah. Your love. Something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't even, I never studied that, so I just oh, took from memory. No way. Yeah. So, what would you yeah. do if you sang that, like with a, with a backing track? Or how would you do it? Just like that? You just make it up? Yeah, I would just make it up. That's the thing. That's the funny thing with me. So when I do stuff live, I better record myself because I'm going to forget what I did like a moment <laughs> ago. Yeah, because um, one of my close friends who was with me, who lived with me, who was in the band with me, this dude's like my brother, man. He was also my manager for a while, Teddy Katikbak. He was the first to notice that with me. Like, oh, when Johan does something, he doesn't remember it. So starting from now on, so when he used to record songs, he would he would trick me, right? He would trick me. He would be like, okay, we're going to practice. Just do ad-libs to, your, to this song. Just do ad-libs. And I would do like whatever. And then I didn't know he was already recording it. <laughs> yeah, that's what he used to do to me. He used to trick me. Because he knew that when I wasn't thinking, this is when the best stuff would come out. Because when I was uh, oh. conscious of something, or I was thinking about something, I was planning something, it wouldn't be that great. So then he would trick me. So let's just practice this, um, do ad-libs or whatever for this chorus. And I would be like, oh yeah, yeah, whatever. And then he would record it. Okay, you're good now. What? I didn't even start yet. <laughs> no, you did, all right, it's all good. That's what he used to do. He's smart, you know? He figured me out early, so that's what he used to do with me. That's so good. So all the people, yeah, all the people who record for me, who are close to me and who know me, that's what they do now. Yeah. When I do ad-libs, like the better days, that's what we did. Because that's why when you ask me when I did, I don't even remember what I did there. That's how funny you said that because I just loaded it up to show you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember what I did there. If you ask me now, I don't remember. I you don't know remember what's so anymore. funny? You're like, yeah. I don't remember what I did and I've been studying it for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to remember what you did. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, right? and yeah, and when I do it live, it's always different. Well, the, yeah. some people like that like that I love about that. me. Yeah. They like that about me. Some people don't, but you know, that's me, man. Yeah. That's me. It's All like the, the creativity that created that is there. And that's why you when you perform it, you do that creativity again. Yeah. yeah so yeah. the song sounds different like most of the times you perform it. And sometimes it yeah. it gets to the point some artists have like a regular change that they make. So like they make some changes and that becomes like uh, the, the yeah, like the build up the of battery, changes. Yeah. I love it. Every time I've watched the my favorite artists, they all do the same thing. So definitely it's a trademark of a, of a great artist to do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah let me let, let me let up my super fa so many things I love in this track, but these <laughs> two bits I think. I love that. I love that. The, the way you just hit that make it really really high and it's kind of laid back too now when i listen to it it's kind of laid back yeah it's so good make, make it through the night so <coughs> nice yeah it's a bit high warm up warm up, warm yeah. up into it <laughs> we'll yeah. just sing your top note let's go <laughs> it's like a high i don't know f uh e or something or d or e where's it? uh this one yeah I don't even remember how I did that. Yeah, yeah. I don't even remember how I did that. So clean, bro. I've been trying to learn know. it. I've been trying to learn it. Let me let me see if I can do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shit, it's so high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Something like that. Woo, that's yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. best I've ever done it. But that's and funny. You know, the thing is, you're like, I do, right? whatever, I'll make another one. That's what you're like. <laughs> 
But I got to study that. Not listen to myself. I got to study that. It was a nice one I did. It's so good. Yeah. And the thing is, when I sing, so there are like parts of a song, right? Um, the verse, the chorus, the bridge, the ad libs, or whatever. I have a certain emotion that I feel when I do it. Mm. So what I do is, when I do, for example, that run, I'm gonna remember the emotion I felt when I did that run, not the run. Yeah. Okay. So sometimes it sounds similar to what I did before, but not exactly the same. But the feeling is the same. I love that. That's, that's how I do it. Cause I'm not like what I, like I said, I'm not good at memorizing stuff yep. or being technical about it. So that's how I do it. That's I how love I that. It. I think what, what you, what you're doing, it sounds like you're remembering the notes, the, the mood yeah. of the particular notes that you're exactly, going for. The mood, the mood. That's yeah. The word, yeah. So it doesn't have to be the exact same pattern of like the 24 notes or whatever it is. It can be a completely different note. You could do 15 notes. Exactly. As long as you hit those couple of key notes over the, particular part of the chord yeah, 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 yeah. that's what you mean right the feeling yeah the I mood yeah, yeah the mood yeah because um i know like when i listen to you know tank and you know tank, he's crazy yeah crazy, <laughs> crazy. It, there's he's like nuts. a me and my brother always talking my brother's a great singer too he yeah. we talk about like there's a build-up that he creates like yeah. uh, as the track goes you know and it starts to get more and more complex and he'll add like particular notes in certain parts and we're, like we're trying to learn the runs and my brother has a similar skill to you where he memorizes the emotion in that area. He's, he's, he's able to do all the notes exactly as well if he wants. But then when he, yeah, he's a beast. But, he, but, when he, but he's got a low voice. He's opposite to you. He's, got, he's deeper than me. Oh. Yeah. Um, That's nice though. That's he's, nice though. It's really nice. His voice is kind of like, like JR's like kind of voice, similar, a little bit yeah. lower. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, JR. That's, that's the dude here. Yeah, he's, he's got that dude. deep in his voice, yeah. Um, and he's a really good he's a really good guy too yeah um so yeah and so my brother would do these improvs and i'm like oh shit like he really captures like different moods every time he does an improv it feels like a new melody you know so <laughs> oh, yeah. so I, I love how you do, how you do that here like you do all these little bits and um in the end of this song like around four minutes in four and a half minutes mm. into the better days you f it feels like you created a whole different song like at the end of it with with all the different improvs and the improvs aren't just runs sometimes they're just like a particular two or three notes that you chose like a high note or something like um like it like it's a, yeah it's the, yeah. it's just a it's a it's not it's not simple but it's like a repeated couple of notes but it creates a certain mood about it you know i love it and there's another one here not that too this this bit like just it, it, the mad run on the end but just that oh, how you like you don't you don't do that exactly earlier in the song you do something a little simp uh simpler i think you just do two notes and then there you add two or three notes and it just it adds something to yeah, it yeah, yeah. yeah just like it's a build-up so See, by i didn't the even end, know i did that yeah by the end of the song i'm just like oh shit, where did i go it's so nice yeah um, I love it. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. There's so much to it. It's really good. Um, okay, let's see. So, <laughs> how did you develop your run speed? So, so I don't know if you know, but your run speed is as fast as it gets. It's like world class. The the, the speed that you do your runs at, like the clarity, you know, of every note. How did you develop that speed? Were you always that fast, or do you know? Do you remember? You know, the thing was. Um, I used to do it too fast sometimes. I wasn't on count. Okay. I don't know how this in Filipino they say they call it so good. You weren't in That's, time with uh, the beat. Yeah, I was a little bit too early. Okay. Most of the time, so I had mm. to fix that. Oh. And then, um, yeah, the the guys here, the good singers here. Well, most of my friends they taught me that uh, you gotta slow it down a bit, man. You gotta be a little bit behind, just a little bit behind. And then I don't know how I developed what you were saying, the being precise and fast. I think, yeah, because a lot of a lot of my skill just came from repeating stuff. Okay. You know, like like martial arts, man, the drill, just one punch like a, a million times a day, and be, and you don't even have to think, and you're already doing it right. You know, that's that's how I learned how to do my stuff. So I don't really know. I didn't even know I was fast, you know, <laughs> until you told me. Now I didn't know that was fast for me. That's just like regular speed. 
So, so like yeah, for... that's what I did. I just repeated and repeated it until it, you know, it, it got it, it got into its place. Yeah. So so yeah. you sort of had to learn the, to stay exactly on a tempo, a little bit behind the beat instead of rushing yeah, a little ahead. Better. That's great. Yeah. That's a very common problem. Rushing. It's one of the yeah, most that, common that's problems. That's my problem. Yeah. yeah. I, I still struggle. <laughs> say again. Being off key sometimes. Being off sometimes key. They start a, yeah. Sometimes they start a song totally different. <laughs> <laughs> That's my disease, man. So people who play with me and they know me, they always give me the first key. Because once I get the first key, the first note, once I get it, then I'm all good. The, the first note of the melody? Yeah. Of the lyric? Get yeah. It. Yeah, if I get that, the first part down, I'm never going to mess up the whole song. But if <sighs> I mess up the first one, I could, you know, I could lose my way. Man. You could lose I could it. Lose I love yeah. it. I love it. Are you so humble? You're saying all of the things that I, I love it. Yeah. So cool. Yeah, we're all human, man. Nobody's perfect, so yeah. it's all good to admit what what you do right and wrong. You know? Yeah, it's like there's good. different musicians have different strengths and weaknesses. I notice. Yeah. 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 Um, and that's cool that they work with you that way. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you say that you just did, you just repeated the runs, for example. Let's say the Brian McKnight one when he goes, "Broken heart of mine," like that one. Could you just copy that when you heard it and then you just repeat it? Is that what you mean by that? Do you I just... could do something similar mm -hmm. and then I would repeat that. Okay. Again, like you said, I would I would get the uh, mood of that that um, pattern and yeah. just repeat it. So whatever notes okay. stood out to you? Yeah, and then if it sounded good, if I did it live and people would clap, I would be like, <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah. And I would look at my bandmates and I would ask him, was it all right? Yeah, it's all right. So... Then I would do it. You know? I love that. I, I love that. So, how often yeah. did you do? Do you do like, uh, or over time, over your years of singing stuff? How often did you do singing uh, live and stuff? Oh man, for the first, so I started singing professionally like 2003 or 2002. I did it for a good, man, a good. 13 to 15 years every day bro every day live yeah live, live i used to sing in a band right yeah yeah so i used to sing in a bar so at bars you have like three sets of or two sets of 45 minutes you know what i mean so i had to sing that every not every day but at least five days of the week yeah four days of the week Shit. so that's how we practice yeah but after a while dude you know what it gets it gets it gets you get burned out vocally yeah mentally emotionally too because you're doing singing the same stuff every day mm. for a long time it's like you don't want to sing it anymore mm. yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean so there was a while that i actually stopped singing i think it was right after right after i think 2015 or 14 i didn't sing for a whole year like a whole year, I didn't sing at any bars or nothing because I got tired of it, man. Yeah. Like if I would yeah. hear a band, I would I would just want to leave. <laughs> Not that I don't. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even hate the band. I did. I mean, the band was great. I didn't hate music. It was just me. My body was like, dude, you gotta rest, man. You gotta rest. Yeah. It's well, like being five. a bodybuilder, man. Yeah, like a bodybuilder. You like, you lift these weights, and you're so good at lifting these weights. After a while, like, I don't want to lift no weights no more, man. Yeah. I want to swim. You know what I mean? You want to do something else for a while, but. Since you are what you are, like for me, I know that I'm a singer. I'm a musician in my heart. I had to come back. Yeah. And the the beautiful thing about it was when I came back, I was more hungry. Mm. I was I was lighter. I, I cared less. You know what I mean? I didn't when I say that I cared less, not in a bad way, I was I had my guard down. I was I was always so concerned about am I hitting the right notes? What is this guy gonna say when I do this? What if the people don't like this? What if this? Uh, too many questions, man. You know what I mean? And then when I let all of that go, and then I just did what I knew I could do, it became better. That's the better days. Wow. When I, when I did the Versace and the better days, those are the times in my life when I was like, dude, just do you, man. You know? Don't nice. mind. Don't think too much. Don't think too much. Because with me, if I think too much, dude, that's when things mess up. When it comes to music, only music. Yeah, you know that's the only time I can be weird, you know, and not really care. Yeah. Music only, because if you're that way in life, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Responsibilities. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah but, but in music though, so there, yeah. Totally. That's no, what happened. I love that because yeah, some people put up a, like a block, mm -hmm. you know, because 
of what you said, you know, you're worrying so much about this performance, that note, etc., etc., and you just like quit, you know. But it sounded like you just needed a break as well. Yeah, a break, a break. Yeah. I just a long break. <laughs> yeah, a long break, like a really long break. Yeah, because I mean, I, I've been doing that. I remember when my wife was pregnant with my first child. I sang six months straight every day. Wow. Every day, bro. Monday to Sunday. And I'm, man, looking back, I'm like, whoa, how did you do that? How, how? did your voice stay that way? I mean, dude, it's like a miracle, man. <laughs> but I did it. I did it because I was like, I need the money. You know, I, need, I got a kid now. I need to save up, all that stuff. So I did it, man. I did it. But that was really hard. And when my kid got born, my voice diminished for at least another six months. So that was the price I had to pay. I couldn't hit those notes anymore. Wow. My, my, what do you call this? My vocal cords hurt. Yeah. It's a good thing I don't have like nodules or I never had like laryngitis or pharyngitis or whatever. I never had that. Good. Yeah. That's good. So, yeah, but so you there learned were those times when I, yeah. So you knew, you there knew when you had to stop, you could feel it. Like, like yeah, when yeah. your voice needed a break. Is that what you mean? Yeah. And the time that, you know, normal people go to bed at around, when I say normal, I'm talking about the majority of people, right? Because yeah. nobody's really normal. <laughs> majority of people go to bed at, um, let's say, 9 or 10 o'clock. Adults like us. And then yep. they wake up maybe 7 or 8. I think that's the healthy way of, you know, living your life. But when you're in a band, like when I used to be, dude, you used to go to bed at like 4, 5 a.m. Wow. A. Oh, far out. Yeah, and then you wake up like lunchtime. And then you missed half of the day. And yep. then when I was... When my daughter was growing up, I was like, I'm missing this. Mm. I, and I was like moody. I was like moody. I didn't want to be with be around um, people because I, I lacked sleep. <laughs> yeah. So so I said, you know what? Just give this up for a while. Mm. You know, give it up for a while. So that's why I don't sing in bars anymore. I don't sing in, um, what do they call this? In regularly anymore. I just sing at weddings, at events, on yeah. YouTube. Most of that stuff. Little stuff. Not too much work, you know? So that way I can put in all my effort. That's yes. why it's always good. And you can enjoy it well, not it always, more. but it's better. It's better. Than, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I can enjoy it more now. Totally. I totally get you. It's hard. Like, for example, I love teaching, for example. But if I was to teach seven hours a day, five days a week, <laughs> I probably <laughs> would get yeah. like very burnt out. So I, yeah, I, I have done that in the past. So, yeah. It's only human to be like that. Yeah. That's what I think. Great. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, so you were talking about your range before. You said you always had high range. Yeah. And you said you were just saying about how your voice got tired and you couldn't hit notes. So what did you do mm. when your voice got tired, for example? How did you get your notes back? I would back? sleep, man. I sleep? would sleep for a long while, a lot of water, a lot of vitamin C. Just sleep. A lot of water, a lot of vitamin C. And it would come back eventually. But the thing is, I used to smoke. Mm -hmm. You see? I man, I started smoking early. My mom and dad don't know this, but I'm gonna say it now. <laughs> I started smoking when I was like 13 or 12, man. Yep. Really early, like cigarettes. And then I smoked until I was 17 or 16, I think. And then I quit. And then when I got into the band scene, since everybody at night smokes, you know what I mean? Mm. I started to smoke again. So I was like maybe 19 or 20. And then I smoked until I was 24. But during that time, I could hit high notes already, but not as high as now. Oh. And then one, then one, I don't know, remember when, but there was this one gig where in the middle of the gig, I was singing this song by Genuine. Uh, Penny? You know, My whole life has changed. Oh, I love that song. And then the ad the part, My whole life has changed. You, yeah, all that stuff. And I couldn't hit it. It's like, oh no, what's happening? I don't even feel bad. I mean, I'm, I'm healthy, I'm good. And then I was like, oh dude, I think it's the smoking catching up to you, man. So the next day, I quit. Just like that, I quit. I'm like, okay, man, you gotta choose. You can choose. I was talking to myself and said, I'm, okay, you can choose, man. You could be cool and smoke or you could have your voice back. Easy choice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Easy choice. So I quit on that day, man. <laughs> So like I sang on a Saturday, I quit on a Sunday, but I got sick, bro. I got sick for like three months because I had like, what do they call this? Um, Detox. 
Yeah, and um, withdrawal syndromes from it. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I was coughing up blood and all that stuff. Whoa. And it hurt to speak. Yeah, because my lungs were really messed up because of the smoking. And then I quit. I finally quit. So I quit like around 2004, I think, or 2005. And I haven't <clears> smoked <throat> since. Yeah, I vape, but this is not smoking. You know what There's I mean? no tobacco. <laughs> this hey. hasn't affected me. It hasn't affected me at all. Yeah. So, so that's what I did to get my voice back. And then my voice became even higher. Wow. It became even higher. Because uh, my lungs are clean now. Mm. And then when I used to sing in a group like Voices of Five in K24, when I used to sing um, that I'll Make Love to You, that was my highest. That was like my peak. And then when I went solo, uh, Teddy, my friend, and who was my, who was my former manager, is still, he's still in my team though. He pushed me. Man, you know what? You could sing girl songs. Because you don't sound like a girl when you sing them, but you can still hit the notes. I'm like, really? Yeah, let's just, you know, let's just wing it. Let's just try it, man. And I'm like, yeah, for sure. And then it trained me to get my voice even higher. Wow. Yeah, I, th- I don't know if you've heard, if you've heard my version of Listen. Go Beyonce. Teddy. Go Teddy. No, I haven't, lis- I haven't listened to it yet. I haven't listened to Listen. <laughs> it, I think it's on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, that was the first one that really challenged me. Okay. But I think it's lower. It's not exactly the same key. It's like a half key lower or something. But it's still high though. Yeah. So still, like one it, semitone it, it, down. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's where it started. And then Versace and the Floor came out, which is really yeah, high. Which is almost a girl. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> it's already it is, in yeah, a girl Bruno's key. Nuts. And the funny thing with Bruno is his technique is like he's got like zero technique, man. It's like he sings everything with his throat. It's like yeah. Michael Jackson almost. Yeah. Yeah. No. Come on! <laughs> so beautiful yeah. when you do it. And he does it like all the time. So I was like, wow, this guy's amazing. And a lot of people, when they heard that song, they told me, you should cover this song. I'm like, what is this song? Then they heard it. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> it sounds 90s. It is, yeah. You know, I like, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm not dissing the music nowadays, but yeah. the only stuff I listen to now when it comes singing, right, is maybe Bruno. Yeah. Like current current music, right? Bruno maybe, maybe some Ed Sheeran. Adele, of course. Yeah. Man, yeah, that's the only the I can't name any more. <laughs> yeah, you know? Sam, now do you like not... Sam Smith? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's cool. He's, he's all right. He's all right. He's got a he's got he's got that black man voice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in a white man body. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He's yeah he's all right. He's good. His music is amazing. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, you said some of your who's your favorite artists? Okay. Well. um... I don't have just one. So yeah. like when you said artists. That's why I said artists, because I know I don't yeah, have exactly. one either. Yeah. Oh, man, okay. I would say my favorite sounding, just sounding, right? Would be Life Jennings. Okay. I'm oh, yeah, yeah. Life, you, sh- you shared him with life. me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that dude, man. His voice is something else. It's so raw. It's so, I don't know what the word is, right? Unintentional. L Y F E, hey, L Y F E, life. Yeah, 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 hey. yeah. And his he his the lyrics to his songs, dude, is deep. I mean, his album Phoenix, though, when his later stuff is more commercial, because I think I don't know what what his management tried to do with him, but you know, yeah. they tried to make him into like a usher type, you know, but it didn't work for him. Okay. When he was more he was more raw and street, that's when his music was the bomb for me. Stevie, man, you can't go wrong with Stevie. Everybody goes home to Stevie Wonder. Um, who else? When I was in high school and when I was young, I used to listen to a lot of Joe Desi too, man. Yeah. Joe Desi, Casey and Jojo, Drew Hill. Drew Hill. Stuff. Oh, I love you. Do you know Beauty? Oh, no, I don't know. How does that one go? So I How's didn't notice you there. Then again, you didn't notice me. Oh, I don't me. know that one. You don't know oh, it? God, I don't know that one. No, oh. no, no. I listen to that. It's what, really good. What was the song? An angel from Drew Hill. That oh, yeah. was the one. Angel. Angel, my sun up in the sky. Oh, so angel good. And I think there wasn't even Cisco who signed out. I think it was Jazz. And what's the song of Drew Hill again that they like? Um, How do you piece your love? We're not making love no more. We're not even trying to say. I don't even know, memorize it. Yeah. Stuff like that. And yeah, and what really caught my attention from the guys I told you was um what do you call it? Jodeci. 
because they're they they're like you know they're so gangster yeah and they like don't they, they they don't really care about nothing when they sing they're almost like screaming at each other yeah and they got big <laughs> notes like, sounds good yeah 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 they sound good and they're so and they got that gospel feel to them because yeah. i'm attracted to the gospel feel so that's what i like that, those are my favorite r&b yes um yeah because you know that's that's what i'm attracted to right the yeah. r&b stuff Rock, dude. I listened to. I used to listen to rock too, but not that much. Like I told you, I used to listen to Corn, <laughs> Limp Bizkit, Deftones, that stuff. Yeah, and even Bon Jovi, dude. In the yeah, Philippines, I was gonna bon ask. Jovi was big. <laughs> oh, was he? I was gonna ask you uh, if you could um, do the "Living on a Prayer" chorus. How I'd love to again? hear that in your voice. Um, How does it go again? Whoa, we're halfway there. <laughs> Oh yeah. Whoa, we're how high is it? Whoa, know. we're halfway there. Whoa, whoa, living on a prayer. Woo. Take my hand. Something like that, you know. Yeah. The, the vibrato is different too, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not warmed up, so I can't get it right. But yeah, All something right. like that. Let's warm up. Let's warm up. Cool. Let me. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's warm up by testing your range. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's it's see. Like an exam. Let's see. It's like an exam. Yeah, okay. let's see. <laughs> All right, hit that for me. Uh, is that too low? Uh, mm, I can hit it. There you go. Yeah, I tried because you were telling me before you were like um before the interview, it's the high range is a gift and a curse. <laughs> yeah, because I can hit them. Because the low yeah, notes. Yeah, is a, yeah, I can hit the low stuff sometimes. Yeah. I, I go sharp on it. Yeah. But for me, I'm like, right. well, I can't hit the highs, so it's so hard to sing so many songs. So yeah, I, I got yeah. I got like a little bit low, but then I have to drop every song two or three keys or whatever at least, you know? That's all good though, man. Yeah. I'm That's trying all good. I'm trying to learn to stretch example, it. Yeah, the perfect example is JR. Yeah. He sings a lot of his songs lower, but dude, the quality, yeah. the vibe, the it's all there. Yeah. It's all there. But there are hits, certain songs you just say what? Say what? Yeah, he hits the high. He hits like high B and stuff. He hits pretty high notes sometimes. Not not yeah, as high yeah. as yours, but but like, yeah. it sounds like wow when it's high, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was the first real R and B guy here in the Philippines. Yeah. I used to look up to him. He's older than me, like a year though. But I used. To, I don't know if he remembers me, but there was this one time in my hometown, Baguio. We did a front act for him. My band at the time was Brown Flavor. That was SM Baguio and I think 2004 or 2003. And we did a front act for him. And then he came after us. And then I heard him sing. I was like, oh my God, this guy. That was the first time you heard what him? Is he? Yeah. And the, the first thing I noticed about Jair was how laid back he sang. He's always a little bit behind the beat. Yeah. And he doesn't, I, I know he doesn't do it intentionally because all of the songs are like that. Yeah. It's so sticky. I don't know how, how you, the term is, but it's sticky. It feels sticky like he's he's like in slow motion for a bit. Yeah. But just right there, you know yeah. what I mean? I think they call it, that's like you said, about. behind the beat. Yeah, that's yeah. the way he sang. It's a real that's thing, yeah. Sang. Like, that's why the musicians were telling you like that as well, to to put your runs like that and all the timing stuff. So it's a real yeah, thing, yeah. Yeah, master of that. Yeah. He's a master of that, though. Yeah, man. It, it, that I didn't. I never thought of that. Like that. Actually, it's his timing that makes him have that very smooth yeah, thing. Yeah, feel. it's a good that's point. That's his feel. That's his feel. Yeah, that's his feel. Let's hit this. I want to see. Okay. Well, I've measured your voice when you sing the tracks, so I know like what the range stuff you hit. But it'll be cool to see you like <laughs> go from the bottom to the top. Do you mind if we try that? Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So we just went. Uh, can you hit that? Uh, no, I can't. No? Let me see. I can't, I can't. No, no. No, no, no. Uh, okay, so that's good. We'll go C. Uh, I can hit it, but really, really silent. Yeah, yeah. Um, nice. <laughs> but yeah, I can't we'll, sing in that voice. We'll go from I there. I just can make a sound. Go from there, go. <laughs> uh, and then keep going up. Uh, 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 I I don't know where it was next. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Yeah, I'll do it and then you copy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. 
It's all yeah, over. It's because it's so low. Sorry, bro. Sorry. We'll move up. Good. And now we'll go yeah. to the next octave. What's the first uh, one? What's the first note? It's a, uh, uh, right? Am I right? Yeah, that's it. Uh, nice. And we'll go from uh, there. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, that's gonna go falsetto now. I can't that's reach it. that anymore. Yeah. So you went up, yeah. you went up to E in your chest. It's called E five, and that's exactly yeah. the note you did when you did the um, better days. Uh, See those like when you did something up there. That's the note you did. So you're already doing it. Oh, yeah, even, cool, cool, cool. You already did it, but not loudly, but you did it and you're not even like warmed up and stuff. So it's cool. Yeah. I was just testing to see where it is. So for me, yeah, yeah, yeah. like that's that's like a really that's a really uncomfortable range. It's uh, it's, it's like the difference in the voices. <laughs> yeah. Um Yeah, yeah. We I said we said we were gonna jam on I'll make love to you. Do you want to do that one? Yeah, let's do it. Let's yeah, let's do, do it. it. Sure. Let's do it. All right. And then you said lately too. Yeah. That'd be do good. That one, sure. Uh, okay. Let me get so the key for. Dwayne. Okay, Close up there. We're gonna start there. That's it. All right. Right. Me first. Are we gonna have like background music with it or just? No, no. Uh, just just like raw because um. I can't play the music because like it comes to you slower. It'll be a delay because oh. of the call. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay. So I just have to do it raw. That's all good, man. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just give me the key. I'll, I'll, start, I'll start the there. key and then you'll be all right. All right. <laughs> You're funny. Okay, okay, okay. Sure, sure. Close your eyes, make a wish, and right. blow out the candlelight. For tonight is just your night We're gonna celebrate Sing it for me, oh hun Light for the wild Is that right? Light the fire Girl, your, girl, your wish is my command I submit to your demand, oh, I will do anything, girl. You, what does he say? Need only, only yes. I'll make love to you like you want me to, and I'll hold you tight, baby. You're through the night. I'll make love to you when you want me to. And I, when I let go, do you tell me to go relax? Let's go slow. I ain't got nowhere to go. I'm just gonna concentrate on you. Girl, are you ready? It's gonna be a long night. Throw your clothes on the floor. I'm gonna take my clothes off too. I made plans to be with you. Girl, whatever you ask me, you know I would do love to you. Yeah. Like you want me to. And I hold you tight, baby. You're through the night. I make love to you when you want me to. And I will not let go when you tell me to. There's a bitch, right? Baby, tonight is a night. And I will do you right. Just make a wish on your night. Anything that you ask, I will give you the love of your life, your life, your life. I'm in love to you, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Ooh. 
having a hard time because I'm sitting down, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, you don't sound like you're having a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn. <clears throat> yeah, that was so nice. Oh, my God. I can't wait to watch that back. <laughs> wow. Thanks, that was mad creative, man. Mad creative. Uh-huh. And I love how you can sing like you just you don't even need <clears throat> to look like you're like moving your face and your mouth that much. That's just so chilled. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Like sometimes when I watch myself back singing, I'm like squeezing my face and the other one is you're just like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Better, though. you're like killing it. <laughs> you know, the, the thing is, this one, one of my techniques, which I found out just lately is actually a good thing that I relax everything that I don't use when I sing. Okay. So everything, because one, there was this one of these music teachers here in the Philippines. Shout out to uh, Mon Silvestre. He's on a great music teachers here in the Philippines. I had a talk in his school. I think it was last year, November. Or, I don't know. I forgot. No, no, not November. September, maybe. And he pointed that out. And then he explained to me that what I was doing was what he's teaching his students. You know, uh. don't uh, just use what exactly what you need to use when you sing mm. in terms of range. Okay. So just like the lungs, the throat, and try not to um, engage the muscles. Up yeah yeah engage and tense up the other muscles because it's going to make you more tired yeah okay you know so i didn't know i did that naturally because <laughs> that's how I, I, did, I did yeah that's how i because nobody taught me how to do that i yeah. just learned it by myself and it turns out that's actually a good thing that's awesome i need so, to yeah. learn that i need to practice that yeah but the thing is in music videos it doesn't come out so good it's it's like it's like a good thing and a bad thing because people are like amazed so like wow this guy doesn't even he's not even having a hard time <laughs> but you don't know but inside if you could see me inside me in my head and the way I'm feeling, I'm like, oh my God, I wish this was over. This is so tiring. You know what I mean? But the the disadvantage of that is on music videos, you got to look like you. You're really feeling yeah, okay. the way you're singing it. Yeah. So that's the thing I have to I have to watch out for when I'm mm. you know singing for a music video. The balance. I have to be more time. overacting. I have to be more, well, for me, yeah. more um, expressive. That's yeah. the thing, though. So yeah, yeah. you're you're under expressive and I'm over expressive. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> it's fine. You're just but... normal. Yeah, it's normal for you. It's... I mean, you're 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 normal. I'm like, you know, not normal. I'm not normal. It's I watch weird. it back and I feel like I look like this. <laughs> <laughs> that's better though. It's better for me. It's better. Yeah, because that's that that's the emotion you kind of you know display. I, I think I'm just honest. trying to get the notes. <laughs> yeah. Why not? And, Anyhow, just do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, did did you say you knew doing just fine or no? I don't know it that well. Don't know that well. Okay, great. I don't know it that well. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's do the the lately. Do you, do you want the key for the lately one? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, it was a live version, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know which one it was. Mm. Oh no, that's wrong. Lately, yeah, it's actually originally a Stevie song. Uh, yeah, yeah, That's I know the original. Yeah, but I like the way they ripped it apart. It was yeah, nice. <laughs> really crazy. I watched it when you, I watched it when you sent it. Wearing perfume. That's the key. With no vivid reason here to find wow. <clears throat> Yet the thought of losing you's been hanging Around my mind mm-hmm. Now just the other night What are you were sleeping I vaguely heard you whisper summer's name, but when I ask you all the thoughts you're keeping, you just say, nothing's changed. I don't know if I'm in the right key, but I'm a man of many wishes. I hope my premonition misses, but what I really feel, my eyes won't let me hide, cause they always start to cry. 
Cause this time could mean good. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. God. That's, that's a hard song. It's got the, the key changes like from the section to section. Yeah. And the yeah, way yeah. they've done it, they've made it even harder because they add in all these yeah. high note changes. Can we yeah, do? Crazy. Can we do a little play on that? Can Can you do like some ad libs there? And I want to try to copy okay. you. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. So let's let's um from the chorus I think, or oh, anywhere. Let's okay. go. Um, what's the uh, what? How's the chorus go? How's the chorus again? <laughs> I'm a man of many wishes, son. Oh, revelation, you say what I really feel, my eyes won't let me. I think, I don't even know what the chorus is there. It's coming to yeah. think of it. So that's when it comes it's in. Like, eh? <laughs> it's like the whole thing is a chorus. Yeah, it is. We'll get from there, we'll get from there. Yeah, the thought of losing you has been hanging around now my mind. Far more frequently you're wearing fur. Okay, let's do the verse. When I'm ever losing me to find. Yeah, the thought of losing you. I think it's when I'm a man of many yeah, we'll wishes. Yeah. I think it starts there. I think it starts there. Yeah, yeah we'll get from there. Yeah. So go, go from there. Yeah. Make make something up on the part where there's a gap. Okay, okay. And I try to Are you going to sing or me? You're going to sing. I'm going to try to copy... When you do a run, I'm gonna try to copy it. Okay, where I go? I, I'm a man of many wishes. I hope my premonition misses. But what I really feel, my eyes won't let me hide. Cause they always start to cry. Hey, yeah. Cause this time could mean this goes to the bridge, I think. Good bye. Goodbye. Well, I'm a man of many wishes. I hope my premonition misses. Oh, oh, what I really feel. My eyes won't let me hide. Then it just goes, cause they all answers, wait. They always, they always start to cry. Hey, yeah. Cause this time could be good. Goodbye. I need a keyboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Something That's like it. that. I yeah, know. Yeah. I, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not calibrated. Yeah, it's it's hard without the instrumental. Yeah, especially that song. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm landing on the right notes anymore. <laughs> no, just uh, going. Just going. in the just in the very end, I think you changed right in the very end. But it was it was great yeah, the whole yeah. way through. That was. It's so mad to hear you roll, bro. It's so mad to hear you roll. Can, oh, thanks, man. can we go like um can we go like on a on just a few lines and i'll just copy them back yeah. and if there's anything like how you did when you used to ask the people that helped you in the band i'll copy them back yeah, yeah. and you just tell me if there's something that i can fix when i copy them okay sure how about sure, that sure, yeah sure. so you can sure. give give like towards that ending what you did whatever anything you did there just like the normal lines yeah like I'm a man of many wishes, before. maybe. Yeah, I'm a man. Of, I'm in the right key. Yeah, I think I am. Yeah. I'm a man of many wishes. Okay, I hope my premonition misses. Let's do that one. I'm a man of many wishes. I hope my premonition misses. <laughs> I lost the ending. <laughs> How, is there yeah. anything to fix like the way that I'm singing the huh? I, like I think that. I do think that? the secret there or the key to doing a run like that is the rhythm of it because I don't think you don't understand the notes I highly doubt that because you can figure that out easy yeah yeah you're I think it's just the the rhythm of it so I'm a man of many wishes 
I hope my premonition of this is, 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 oh. Yeah, there, there oh. you go. Mm, yeah, it's easier when it's alone. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, you see, you know, like I, like I, like I said earlier, you just gotta keep on doing it. Yeah, keep on doing it and doing it. Yeah, the phone. <laughs> yeah, just keep on doing it and doing it, and um, you're gonna get it eventually. Yeah, that's what I do. Can you show me again that when you went, I I hope I want to see if you can help me with when I try to go high into that high note. Okay. Um, I'm a man of many wishes. I hope my premonition misses. I hope my premonition misses. Sounds so good. I, 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 I hope, I hope. Is that right? Yeah, you're hitting the note right. Yeah. Is there something about you? But you, 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 you could still push it. Oh, let me say this. You can still push it more out. More? I think by using more of your chest. I don't know. Uh, uh, I'm a man of many wishes. I hope. You see what I'm doing? Okay, yeah, yeah. I hope my premonition. I'm going to sing. I'm singing louder now. Yes, yes. I hope my premonition misses. I hope. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hope. I hope. You see it? I hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just I hope. That louder and that's it. Hey. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, try Just to add that. that louder. Yeah. I hope. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, like my prim- I hope. Because what you're doing now is like, I hope. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's like a, a reinforced falsetto. I hope. Mm. I hope. It, it, it wrote the note right, but yeah. what I'm doing is, I hope. Oh, I hope my premonition. I hope my premonition. Yeah, I see the difference. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I hope, I hope my premonition misses. Huh? You just gotta push it out. Yeah. No, was no. that more pushy? So before I was like more. Do it again. Do it again. I hope that was before. I yeah. hope like that. Yeah. I just gotta push it just a little bit more. Bit more. Bit just more. practice that. <clears throat> All right. Thanks, heaps, man. Woo. Yeah. yeah. Work on that. Get that more chesty yeah. sort of a power sound instead of that softer sound that I had before. Oh, yeah, thanks yeah. so much, man. It's been really good. Yeah, just so, push it out, yeah. so what's your what's your future plans with your music and with anything else? Anything you want to talk about or share? Oh well, um, well actually I do. It's perfect to ask me. <laughs> well, see, I was I've been gone on YouTube for a year now. I think. Yeah, Last better days was I eleven months. Out. Yeah, that was a year ago exactly, April, almost a year ago. Yeah. So now I'm back. I'm recording some songs now. I'm recording um. Well, mostly covers. Uh, Without you, Charlie Wilson. I, I think I let you hear that one before. Heaven Yo. knows what to say, even though for a live version. So far away. I think you did yeah, a live I version. You a live one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was crazy. So you're gonna record that? Yeah, I sent you a live version. Yeah, but I, yeah, and um, I'm I'm working on a song now with Kim Molina. The, the one of my songs that went really violent. I think it's like 30 million views now. Yes, the, it's 28. Know, or the girl something. I sang. Uh, yeah, the, the girl I sang. Pepe Brasson. This time I love you. That one. And then um, I'm recording a James Ingram song. Uh, I'm not sure which one I'm going to record yet. Um, I think it's just no easy way. Just no easy way. There's no easy way to break. Yeah, and I'm constant. I'm working on uh, what do you call this? Original songs too. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, because you know, yeah, yeah. I, 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 that's the, when I started singing. I wanted to do more on original songs, but the culture here in the Philippines um, gives more attention to cover songs. Yeah. So what I did was I started out with cover songs. So I would, um, what do you call this? Uh, get more, I don't know how to say this. English is my second language, so I'm having a hard time with That's my okay. vocabulary. Uh, to um, get attention faster. Yes. Yeah. From from the from the industry, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's why I did a lot of covers first. I'm just going to close the door just real quick. Sure. Real quick. All right, I'm back. There you go. Um, and yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm working, because I already have, Two original songs that that I made, three actually, but 
the, the one I sent you before. Yeah, I love um, that one. Come back to me. I was yeah. young there. I was like 22 or 21 then. Come back to me. It was so good. I listened to it once, but I want to listen to it again. It's really beautiful. Yeah, that was a, that was a minor hit here in 2003 or 2004. And people were singing it all over Manila because I was in Baguio then. Yeah. That's like six hours away from Manila or five hours away from Manila. Okay. And everybody was singing it here. And when I moved to Manila, they didn't even know I sang it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they didn't even know. So I was like, oh, man, I, I let this one go. You know? I didn't capitalize on mm. it. But I was in a different group then. I was uh, I was with uh, Brown Flavor back then. That was on my first bands. Yep. And that's when he sang that. And... When I went solo, because that's not a solo song, that's in the group. When I went solo, that was 2014, 15. That's when we did a, um, For Better or For Worse in Parang Langit. Parang Langit is a Tagalog song. And then For Better or For Worse is an R&B song. That was the one I, I, I think it's on Spotify. Yeah, I think it is. But yeah, I'm working on originals because, you know, I just want to bring my stuff out, you know, my music out. So I don't I don't really mind if it becomes a hit yeah. or whatever. Because one thing with uh, with uh, with me, where I am in my life right now, it's not I don't do music for money anymore. Yeah, I just do music for music, you know, for 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 me, you know, just for me. Not 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 not, not that much anymore for like I want to impress someone or I want to. I want to be famous or stuff like that. That's all good, man. People who do that, I mean, that's all good. Yep. No problem with that. But just for me, I'm just speaking for me, you know? So the thing is, R&B, our, our kind of R&B, you know, the stuff that we like is not, you know, it's not that in anymore now. Yep. Maybe you could hear a little bit of it from John Legend, perhaps, from time to time. Yeah. I forgot to mention John. Yeah, but not that much. I'm going to try to bring music out that sounds like the stuff that we like. Yeah. Oh, exciting. Yeah. yeah. And then hopefully it picks up me, but if it doesn't, it's all good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. That's, that's, those are my plans right now. Well, you got a classic voice, man. So, and you sound like you got Thank great you. Music, musicians that you work with because I watched your make, yeah. the making of your video vlogs that you had. Yeah. My, and, my team is, is the bomb. Yeah. And yeah. just the quality is amazing. Is it okay if I, is it okay if I plug something like, of course. Quick? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, you commented on the video. There's this new thing that my friend has going on. It's Immerse, um, what is Immerse Pop Studio or something? The live that's video? The, yeah, the live video. That looked yeah. great. Yeah. It's, yeah, that's, that's Teddy, and he has like two partners there. And they had me as a guest last time. I, th yeah, yeah, I think you saw it because you, you uh, wrote a yeah, comment on the video. I was, I was out when it was on, but I listened to a few seconds of it because I was out at a salsa club. So I just oh, went yeah, to cool. the bathroom and listened to it for a few seconds, but I plan I saved it in my list to watch the rest of it because it was, I was like, wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> you were yeah, singing yeah. How Am I Supposed to Live Without You when I clicked on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah. That you, was live? I mean, yeah, that was live. You were doing that and live? Hope, yeah, we are doing that live. The quality was incredible. It, yeah. Like of yeah, the yeah, video, gonna, the production, yeah. Yeah, like, like in a studio, right? Because yeah. Because they turned... The cafeteria of their of their office <laughs> into a studio wow. with all cameras and I think it was like six or five cameras. I'm not sure with the whole sound setup. Everything it was it was really good, and we had like great musicians. It was me, Daryl Reyes, and um, Chriselle. The great singers, man. And we're gonna they're gonna be doing more of that stuff, you know, great. more shows. And they're gonna have me on it and. A whole bunch of other artists too, you know. Woo! I get to watch you live. Yeah, it's gonna be the internet age, you know. So yeah. people who don't get that that uh, break on TV, they're gonna have their chance here. Hopefully, you know what I mean. Sounds so good. So what's the name of it again? And and it's where Immerse, can people find it? Immerse Pop Studios. Immerse That's Pop Studios. One. Where do they, where do they find it? Oh no, I don't have a link with me. on Facebook. But. Yeah, yeah, it's on Facebook. On yeah. Facebook, yeah. I didn't think about that because it just came to my head that I wanted to share it. Yeah, sure. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Is yeah. there a YouTube channel? Is there going to be YouTube versions? or? There's no YouTube now that I know of. Facebook at the moment. But I think they're going to start making one, yeah. Great. Yeah, and I'm going to ask, you know, people who subscribe to your channel to subscribe to my channel too. Of course. And to, yeah. All that stuff. You're, you're like uh, 105K now. <laughs> yeah, I am. Killing yeah. it. Well, yeah, yeah. Because I remember... Funny cause 
when I first saw yeah, your well, channel, it was like 85k or something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I looked back a few days ago, I was like, oh, shit, damn. <laughs> it's funny how it grows by itself. I know. You know, Crazy. I don't even, I don't even do any, I don't even comment on videos anymore or nothing. I just yeah. let it be. Yeah. Because, you know, the thing I learned was once you um, become a, like, a, I don't know how you call it. If you get known through social media, uh, you know, like the way I, I've become known. Yeah. And a lot of people comment on your videos. They say good stuff and they say some funny stuff too. You know what I mean? You can't get that, let that get to you. And my way of not let it, letting it get to me is just not reading any of it yeah. at all. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I don't blame I don't know, you. I remember that when with your interview with JR, JR told you that he watches a lot of Joe Rogan. Yes. Yeah, I do that too. I like Joe Rogan. He's the man. And he does the same thing. He doesn't, doesn't read. You know, read comedy. Yeah. And when he said that on his on one of his podcasts, I was like, oh, it's cool to do that. I'm not, I'm going to do that too. <laughs> I'm not going to, you know, take notice of yeah. that stuff. But yeah, it's just, it's just negativity. But if, you know, if someone uh, messages me on Facebook or Messenger, just gives me a personal message, I respond right away. Yeah. That's my thing. You know, that's what I'm proud of. I don't, I don't ignore anybody. Yeah. If they go to that <laughs> effort to, the, the, to want to speak to yeah. you, you make that. That's really nice, man. Yeah. The only yeah. thing that I regret well, it's not a real regret, but I can't do it all the time. Is I get a lot of requests from people like, can you sing this song? Can you yeah. sing that song? I can't do them because if I give in to each and every one of those requests, there's not enough hours in a day to do it. You know what no. I mean? I, yeah. I, I'm a dad. I got a family. I got, yeah. I got other stuff I got to do. So that's the only thing I apologize for, yeah. for anybody's watching. I don't do requests <laughs> just for that reason. Yeah, Yeah, because I can't do all of them. If I do one, I got to do all of them. <laughs> I get what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, I can't just pick one. That's gonna be unfair to everybody else. I get you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's really hard for me when I'm choosing reactions. I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> There's so oh, many yeah, to choose yeah. from. I can imagine on your part exactly. Yeah, yeah I get what you mean yeah. about the comments. Well, one of my mates, one of my friends, told me, um, he's like, man, if you see bad comments, just delete them. Delete them. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Really, actually, it's your channel, dude. Like, yeah. You can block them. <laughs> Yeah, what I do is just, just for me to like, just just be neutral. It's just I just ignore. I don't read them. Yeah, yeah. You can say whatever you want. If it goes viral, whatever, just talk. If you praise me, thank you. If you don't, whatever, do like yeah. that. cool. But if you read it and you put so much energy into yeah. reading each and every one, man, it's gonna hurt. It may hurt a little bit, and it's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> and then one before you know it, you're like fighting with some dude on on a keyboard somewhere in anywhere you know for no reason i've been there it's, not, it's yeah. not good it's not productive it doesn't help anything so it's, that's what i did it's good to hear that you have that strategy um yeah, yeah totally i feel that and it's just it amazes me how like i'll read the positive comments and there'll be so many positive com if you actually count the numbers you know the ratio of positive to negative it's so many positive comments but i don't know how the couple of negative comments it hits your mind, you know, like it's weird because I'll be, I'll be like, why am I thinking about this negative comment? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. and I just had like these five, ten, like to to counteract that negative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's weird. It's yeah. a weird. It's a weird uh, feeling, like because you, like, you've got sixty five million views, so I haven't gone through your comments, but I'm sure you've got a lot of comments. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like I think of it like this, you know, like it's a piece of paper, right? It's white. If you see one black dot. On that piece of paper, you're gonna see it. You're gonna notice it. <laughs> I love that's that. Very, that's, so that's why I just don't look at the paper anymore. Because you're gonna see that one or three dots. It's like, what are these three dots doing here? But you haven't <laughs> noticed that the paper is just white. You know what I mean? That's the way I look at it. That's the way I see it. I love it. That's so good. That's the way I see it. That's the way I that's see so it. Good, so that's man. why I don't read anymore. Yeah, so and even I get this a lot. This is funny. This is this is really funny. But you know, I can't believe people would say negative comments about you like yeah your, yeah, your yeah, voice is do. like it's perfect like oh thanks, thanks man. Uh, what's a negative yeah. comment what would they say they say something like why are you singing girl songs or why why are you called the bad boy of r&b you're not you're not a bad boy you know what i mean oh my and god they, yeah they say stuff like that i, I you know, now that i'm over it it's just funny right I, this is what i get a lot this one i get a lot are you blind <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean, man. You know what I did was this is what I did. Look, sorry, this it's funny, but I wouldn't yeah. write that. 
Do you know what I mean? Because when yeah. you write it, when you write it, yeah, see, I'm not blind. Look, I'm not blind. <laughs> <laughs> you got my nice style. I just like shades. Yeah, I like wearing shades. I get that a lot, bro. And what I did one time was, um, uh, <laughs> bullies. So this person uh, commented on my video. It's like, are you, uh, are you blind? Why, why? Uh, it's like you're really blessed to have this gift, even if you are blind. Oh my Something god! Like that. And I replied, I replied, yeah, um, I'm really blessed to have this gift. I'm really blessed to have this gift that I'm blind. I hope, <laughs> I'm, I, I read your comment. This is what I said. I read your comment and I agree with you that I'm really blessed to have this gift even, I'm bl- even though I'm blind. And then she replies, she's like, yeah, thank you for agreeing with me. She didn't even figure it out. How can a blind man read her comment, right? <laughs> <laughs> You see, it was a, it was a trick answer. I, don't know I didn't even think of that. <laughs> you got me yeah. too. See, it was if he, if she wasn't paying attention, she wouldn't get it. Yeah, it was like he <laughs> said, Dude, "I'm not blind. I can read your stuff. Thank if you, you can read someone's stuff, you're not blind." <laughs> you know what I mean? So I wrote it, and she replied, "Thank you." And I'm like, "Okay, this never mind." <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, yeah that- my wife read that, and she was laughing. She was laughing and laughing. She's like, "Hey, stop." Stop, you know, stop picking a fight. Or I'm not picking a fight. I'm just trying to be funny. <laughs> you know, a lot of people laughed at that comment. Yeah, it's funny that you said that, that um, Ivory does yeah. that with you. Because Jessica does yeah. that with me. Every time I'll come and tell her like what somebody wrote or someone did yeah. something. And she'll be like, yeah. don't talk back. Don't reply back. Don't, you know what's going to happen? Because I've been down that trap, you know, where you just like have a reply war. It's a trap. It's a trap. And she's exactly. like, don't do it, Rashad why are you doing it like it got, at first she used to be like oh okay and then after a few months she's like she got over it stop doing it i'm not yeah, going to talk yeah, to yeah. you about it if you do it okay don't don't come tell me the story <laughs> yeah, i don't do that anymore when i was starting that that got to me a bit you know like a yeah. little bit because it was my first time but now it's nothing dude like you could you could see anything you can see that i look like a dog or whatever i'm like <laughs> okay good for you man you know high five I'm never gonna see you in my life anyway. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going on with my day. So are you? So say yeah. whatever. It doesn't make any any effect. So that's why I don't read the comments anymore. Yeah. Not that much. Well, yeah, but some of my fans do though, and they answer back. <laughs> yeah, like they they go to war for me. I'm soldiers. Like, like you, know, you gotta stop. That. Yeah, you gotta stop that. Like I had this one fan of mine. He's gay. What's his name? Al. Uh, I forgot his name, Al, his Al, so he's gay, so he's like, he's like, he's like my sister, we're really close, right? And then there's this one guy who made a bad comment, and a bad comment on one of my videos, and he replied like in a whole paragraph, he was blasting this dude, like, look here, motherfucker, and I messaged him, and I'm like, hey, Al, you gotta quit that, man, you can't go to war with these people, they don't even know you, you don't even know them, it's like, it's like your time. You know, like one of my fans go and blast these people. I'm like, don't do it. We're not like that. You know, we don't mind these people. We don't yeah. mind it. It's all good. Let, let them be. Let them be. You know what I mean? <laughs> Facebook is like, you know, the way I see social media is like people on the street, like everybody's on the street. And then you just got to get used to some dude coming up to you and saying, man, you suck. And then he would just leave. <laughs> that, that was fake. That's what Facebook is, That's right? That's what it is. That's yeah, because when a guy writes something bad about you, he's not going to be at the keyboard like waiting for you to reply. He just write that stuff like, you suck, and he's going to go on with his day. You know? He's not going to be like, okay, wait, I'm going to wait for Johan to reply for the whole day. <laughs> this dude better reply, you know what I mean? You know, they don't do that. So yeah. that's why I don't give them their time too, because they don't give me, they don't give, it doesn't really matter to them too. Why should it matter to me, you know? Yeah, I love that. I love that analogy. That's so good. So um, Yeah, that's what Facebook is. Yeah, Did social you, media, I mean. Pardon? Social? No, I mean, that's what social media is. Oh, yeah, social media, yeah. That's one aspect yeah. of it, eh? I try to focus yeah. on the positive comments um, from, my, from my experiences because I like reading the comments and the feedback and stuff. And, um, and I noticed that, you know, I didn't like some of the negativity, so I was like, you know, I try to keep my mind on the, on the positive ones more. Um, yeah. So I was going to ask, do you play an instrument? Or do people always no, do... The, no. No, did you ever? Were you ever That's interested? One of my regrets. No. Oh, really? I, I, uh, you know what? There was a time in my life when I wanted to try to play a musical instrument, but 
I was so concentrated on my singing. I just wanted to become better and better and yeah. better at singing. By the time I got to where I am now, I wanted to start playing, for example, a piano yes. or a guitar. It's so far apart now. You know, so this is my singing and this is my yeah. playing in it. So I'm like, oh, how am I going to meld these two together so they sound legit? Because I could play like a fool and then sing real well. I'm like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> yeah, He's going to sound weird. But that's one of my regrets. I'm still, I'm still, I'm not, I haven't closed my doors to that. You know what I mean? I still want to do something like that. But if you're asking me now, do I play an instrument? No, man. Yeah. So you're thinking guitar or piano, you're thinking possibly? Maybe piano. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Cool, man. Either, 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 yeah. one, either, yeah. one day at a time, bro. One day at a time. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have like a lot, like singing goals, and um, and that's how mm -hmm. I achieved them. I was just like, because I, I wanted to, I was gonna quit like trying to get better at singing, because I was like, it's just so hard. I don't know if it's right for me. You know, I used to put myself down about it, and then I was just like, fuck it, I have to get it. You know what I mean? I was kind of like yeah, how you, that's how you say, man, that's yeah. why you gotta be like. <laughs> so then I made, I just sort of like made myself a program, like. I'm going to do this when I wake up every day until I get it. And if I don't get it, it in a year or two years or whatever, all right, it's probably not going to happen, maybe. Yeah. But, you know, I started to see gradual progress. So I know you feel like it's so far apart, far away, like the level that you would be on a piano versus the level of your voice. But just mm -hmm. to give you some inspiration, like I felt like that too with the level of my vocals, like, I got better at singing in key and holding notes and stuff like that. But then other things were really weak. Like I couldn't sing high or my falsetto was weak or my vibrato was crap or my runs were shaky. So like I've always felt like incomplete as a singer, you know, I can only sing this yeah. song because this song is like way out of my ability. So I have to, I just have to do like these easy songs or something. So um, doing that really like I just pushed myself to do it. It's taken a few years, but it's been really worth it to do that. Yeah, I play and guitar as well. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I seen, I seen us, I seen a video of you playing a guitar. I think. Yeah. I think like three days ago you sang. Um, oh my gosh, what was the song? You were holding a guitar. I forgot which one that was. Where it did was you like see it? Two on? or three days. On Facebook. Oh. I don't remember. Three days, three days ago. I don't, I don't know, remember doing it. But you're holding a guitar. That was for sure. It might have been one of my older videos, like when you scrolled through my videos, maybe. Oh yeah, it could be. Yeah, yeah. could be. Because I haven't done a guitar cover in a while. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like you said, I'm lucky because my team, dude. Like, yeah, I gotta give a shout out to him, Tommy Katigbak, which is Teddy's brother. That dude has my back now. You know, he's my he's my main producer now. Yeah, Teddy's never gone. He's always been there. He's always looking out for me. Yeah, Paolo. My old bandmates, Ryan, everybody, man, everybody in, in my former band, they're, they're there and they believe in me. You know, that that's what makes me feel like a Superman. Yeah. You know, because I used to look up to these people and I still do. Wow. I, I look up to these people. And then these people tell me like, bro, keep doing what you're doing. You know, uh, continue this. Kill this song. Do that. It makes me feel like I can do anything. You know, shout out to Ken John Serrano, who is a dancer. But he's also an artist. He he's a, a, a famous. I don't know if you you, you watched um, the World Hip Hop Dance Championships 2008 yes. or whatever. If you yeah, that thing. Uh, Le, I, was, I watch Le Twins a lot on that show. The Les Twins. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that was. Um, they won that one. The Philippine All Stars won that one. The leader of that group at the time is uh, my good friend Ken Jan Serrano. He's a singer, dancer. He acts too. He directs. He does everything, bro. That's that's my dude. He he's a mechanic now. His thing now is he fix he fixes bikes, like motorbikes. He sets them up. Yeah. He can do anything. He welds. <laughs> dude can do anything. Wow. And yeah, yeah. And I spend a lot of time with him, and I get a lot of inspiration from him. And when people like him tell me like, keep on doing what you're doing, keep on doing that, that keeps me going. It's these people that matter to me, in my life. It's like I can count them on my my hand, my fingers. It's yeah. like. Maybe not even 10 people. When these people tell me to keep on doing these things, aside from my family, that's what keeps me going. Yeah. So going back to these things with the comments and stuff on social media, that's why it doesn't phase me. Yeah. Because it doesn't, it doesn't, it matters, but it doesn't really matter in the big picture. You know what I mean? Yeah. I love yeah, that. Something like that. That's, re that's really good, man. You're really lucky to have that. And, and you probably yeah, yeah, have yeah. something in you that makes them want to support you as well. Like not just your abilities, you. but... There's probably something in the personality, you know, that makes someone want to want to support you yeah, like but, that. 
the number one person who pushes me every day is my wife. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's, she's amazing. The, the stuff she's done, her, some of her posts really moved yeah. me. It was really beautiful. She's, she's, she, she's like a superwoman. Yeah. <laughs> she's a mom. She has, she works a job. She, yeah, she supports me, man. She, yeah, she just entered the door right now. She's trying to avoid the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cause she did, just did the homework with the kids. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's my number one, you know, she's the number one fuse, you know, to the bomb. Without her, I'd be like, maybe next time, maybe no. She just has to give me this look. She's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, okay, I'm going to get back. <laughs> I'm going to get back to doing what I should be. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love so that. She just, You're lucky, yeah, bro. And, yeah, and she unlocked something in me that I didn't have before. Because, mm. see, I was always in a group. Uh, Brown Flavor, K247, Voices of Five. I was never a solo, never did things alone. So that's that was a big step for me from being in a group and then going solo. Because I, I was never the kind of person to want to be a solo artist. You know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't create the attention. I didn't want to prove, I didn't have, I didn't want to prove anything. I didn't find it necessary to prove anything. I didn't want to make a point. You know, that's how most artists are, right? They they have something to, to share. They have something to, yes. um, they want the world to see something that they have to, that only they have to give. Yeah. I didn't have that. For me, I was like, I'm always going to be in a group. I'm the guy who sings the high parts, who does this. I'm good with that. You know, I was content with that. And I really said, my wife was like, no, you got to try this. Just try it. I believe you can do it and you're going to be something different. And I didn't believe it for a good six, seven months. I was like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to do it because you said so, <laughs> you know. And then after a while, I started believing in myself. And I started believing that, oh, wow, you could actually do this. You could actually do this stuff, this stuff. It was her and Teddy who really, you know, pushed me to do it. Really, wow. really. And they were, they believed in me more than I believed in me. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, they did. They wow. they banked on me, man. You know, they banked on me. And yeah, it looks like little by little, it's, you know, I don't know how it, it's paying off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, am that's an amazing, that's, it's amazing to hear that you have those kind of people in your life, man. It's good. Yeah, yeah. Really good. Can we can we end yeah. it off with uh end of the road? Sure, man. <laughs> Just give me a key. Just give me a key. You know, give me a key. What, what do you think about that? That's fitting. End of the road. Yeah, yeah. Why do you We belong together and you know that I'm right, yeah, yeah. Why right. do you play with my heart? Why do you play with my mind? Yeah. So we be beat forever. Yeah, you do that part. I don't know that part. Said it never die. No, no. How could you love me and leave me and never say goodbye? When I can't sleep at night without a hold in you tight Girl, each time I try, I just will break down and cry Paid in my head, oh, I'd rather be dead Spinning around and around All the way come Till the end of the road Still I can't let go It's unnatural mm -hmm. You belong to me I belong to you Come Till the end of the road Still I can't let go it's unnatural. You belong to me. I belong to you. I'll sing it first again. You do it. Girl, I know you really yeah. love me. You just don't realize. You've never been there before. It's only your first time oh, yeah. oh maybe yeah, i'll man. forgive you maybe you'll try
try. We should be happy together forever. You and I. Will you love? Would you? How does it go? Would you love me again like you loved me before? This time I want you to love me much more. This time instead, I just walk up to my bed. Baby, just don't let me go. Come to the end of the road. End of the road. I can't go. I don't know what I'm going to do. Sarah, you belong to me. I belong to you. Come to the end of the road. Still, I can't let go. It's unnatural. You belong to me. I belong to you. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Lonely. So lonely, so yeah, that's lonely, too. so lonely, this time's prayer just come to my bed, baby, just don't let me go. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. <laughs> killer, killer. I love it. Thank Thanks, you man. so much, man. Pleasure to meet yeah, you, yeah, bro. Yeah. Thank you. I really Same appreciate you, it. Yeah, we should do this again sometime, man. You Definitely, I mean? man. Let's jam again. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Want to hear more sure. and talk more? The, I feel like I, I really learned a lot from you, and it's, it's uh, you got a great story. Same, vice versa. Vice versa, man. Vice versa. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, cool. What was I gonna say? Uh, yeah. So the bad boy of R and B, then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is, uh, the most funny. I got that name by a joke. Oh, really? It was a joke. So they were thinking of a, a nickname for me for my concert. It suits you. And we couldn't, yeah, we couldn't, we couldn't, um, what do you call this? We couldn't um, decide, decide, come up with anything. And I just, I just said it. How about the, just the bad boy of R&B? <laughs> like, it was a joke. It was a joke. And then everybody at the table agreed. It was like, oh yeah, that, that could actually work. It could actually work. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. Yeah. Because yeah, in the yeah, because in the Philippine uh, R&B scene, I don't know if I'm the only guy, but I'm one of the first guys to come out with this image. Tattoos mm. on the neck, you know, that gangster swag. Yeah. On the head, the beard. Yeah. I own pit bulls, you know. So that became, and I, the way I sing too, so that it all came together like, you know, yeah. I don't know, in a good, a good way. I like it. Like you said, it suits me. Yeah, yeah. Thank it suits. You. It suits. Yeah, man. Yeah, thank you. All right, bro. I'll catch yeah, you next yeah. time. <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Later, yeah. It was good, man. It was a good one. I had, really fun. Fun. I had a lot of fun. Great, great. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah. Thanks so much. And uh, what was the name of the the site again? The the Facebook one. Im oh, uh, Immerse Pop Studio. Immerse Pop Studio and Johan yeah. Mendoza on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, do yeah. you have any other Johan Mendoza pages, or is YouTube the main one? I have one on Facebook too. It's yep. also Johan Mendoza. Just Johan Mendoza. Yep. And um, yeah, that's about it. All right, I'll put the links in the description for anyone that isn't already yeah, 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 yeah. signed up. Okay. Yeah, sure. sure. Thank you so sure, much for sure. doing this, man. This is really fun. Yeah, thank you. Thank All you, right. thank you. Later. Thank you, Roger. Bye. Thank you, brother. <laughs>